My name is Stephanie Urbina Jones. Of all the sacred journeys I've taken and led, none have been more profound than this one. On January the 5th, 2022, amid a raging pandemic, snowstorms, fires, and canceled flights, 26 leading spiritual teachers, preachers, and healers from around the world came together to take a leap of faith, to ignite a bold new dream, creating the first ever author's journey in the pyramids of Teotihuacan. We walked through hell and on fire, we danced, we wrote and breathed, remembering our divinity. Through the courage of these star seed dreamers and one badass brave healer publisher, this powerful collection of stories, Shaman Heart, turning pain into passion and purpose was born. I'm Pamela Johnson. I have a BFA in theater production and design from CCM, and I have had a cosmetology license since 1992 and practice as an esthetician. And that's how I kind of segued into healing work. Um, I started out with hot stone massage and then moved into doing Reiki and crystal healing and um, then into shamanic work. Um, I have spent probably the last 15 years of my life dedicating it to working with trauma survivors and I started a nonprofit in 2019 um, and hoping to start a healing center this year. What called me to this shaman heart experience is um, interaction with Stephanie Urbina Jones. Um, we had conversation about doing another trip that they had planned, and um, somehow it came up what work I do, and our conversation led to me being here today. I had never worked with them prior to coming here. Um, I knew I, I needed to be here. Um, but I feel very blessed to have met them and to be working with them and to opening myself um, more as a healer and more as a human. Um, experiences here have been just wonderful. The most profound experience that I've had so far was probably a journey I had uh, two nights ago. I had a really deep journey and um, just had a lot of realizations in it and a lot of things personally came up for me, things that I thought that were things that I dealt with already and now I feel like I've cleared a lot of way um, to be able to go and, and work on this project and uh, let my, my message come out and be able to help others. Well, the way that that's transpired for me is turning my pain into to purpose is starting the nonprofit called the Lotus Sanctuary. Um, I am in process of regrouping everything because of COVID we had to shut down, but we were doing um, healings with people monthly and we have a whole program that we're gonna open up and be able to do a lot more with people. So it's my life purpose, my mission is to do this work. And so being a part of this project is just the next step and, and you know, writing about it. And eventually I, I plan to write my own book. So this is a stepping stone for me. And um, again, very blessed and grateful to be here. And um, I have met so many wonderful people and all of them have hearts of gold and are really dedicated to doing this work, especially Stephanie and Laura and Jeremy. Um, they're just all wonderful and, and ready to open the world to this kind of healing. <laughs> 